Hi, welcome to Vanita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be showing you how to make today is a recipe that my husband makes quite often. It's called breakfast muffins. This is a delicious breakfast idea and is also good for lunch or supper. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the ingredients as we go. Um, and remember when you're making it yourself, if you want to substitute any of these ingredients, that's fine because you can add more or less of anything. So let's get started making these delicious muffin, breakfast muffins. And what's so wonderful about these little breakfast muffins, you can make them in advance and just pop them into the microwave when you're ready to eat them. If you don't want to make the full 12 um, muffins in your muffin pan, you can do F or just as many as you want. The ingredients I'm giving you today is for the 12. So what you would need first is six medium to large eggs. Crack them right into your bowl. After you've cracked all six of them, I always, you know, I always like to put it into the bowl first to check and see, make sure that there's no shells or anything before we do anything. So pretty much that's it. You just start to mix those together. About a half a teaspoonful of powdered onion, onion powder and a pinch of salt. You can eyeball what you want to put in there and the same thing with pepper. I love pepper but this is my husband's recipe so I'm going to lay lightly on the pepper and just stir this around until it's all blended. And what's so fun about this recipe, um, my husband is calling it a breakfast, breakfast muffin but there's no flour, no baking powder, it's just your egg and a few basic ingredients that turns into a delicious meal, of course. So that's a half a cup of shredded cheese of your choice, about a quarter of cup of bacon, already cooked bacon bits if you want to pick those up, that's fine. And we're going to be using tomatoes. I got a full tomato. Um, you could use a few of them in there, maybe half of the tomato in the mixture, and then the rest for putting over the top when, once it's out of the, of the oven. And if you want to add any other ingredient into this, you can as well. You could use more ham, you could use ground beef. My husband cooks up some ground beef and puts into it, and he also likes to put some salami or pepperoni in it. So whatever you like in there, it can go. But this is what we're going to do today. I'm also going to be putting in about a little, little about a quarter of a cup of milk or cream. You could use more if you wanted, but that's all I'm going to be using here today. So I'm going to mix this lightly together. Now my husband also calls this another name uh, when I ask him what are we going to have for breakfast. <laughs> of course, uh, he's got his other name that he calls him. So what is it? Right? Well, what it is is because I could be using pepperoni, I could be using salami, I could have ham, it could be anything. So usually when I say I'm going to be making the muffins for breakfast, I could be saying let's have some this and that muffins for breakfast because there's a little bit of this and, and a little bit of that. Bit of that. So that let's keep her going. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to assemble them into the muffin pan. Okay, I just want to wash my hands to get ready for the next step. So what you are go you're going to need is slices of thin slices of ham. If you don't like ham, you could use whatever meat you would like. And you just put them right on down into the muffin pan. And 12 of these, if you don't want to make 12, you could go less if it's just for yourself. But believe me, you would want the full 12 of them. So just put them right on down. I'm using a silicone muffin pan. You want to lightly grease it first either with some spray oil or just butter and with any muffin pan of course because you don't want them to stick. You want them to pop right out. Okay so I'm going to continue doing this. Tell you what's next. Okay so that's my last one in there. So one good thing about making um, this for your breakfast, you don't have to worry about leaving it. 
when you put it into your oven. It takes about 10 minutes to assemble and 30 minutes depending on your oven, but you can tell because it'll, it'll be all cooked and you put a knife in through there. If nothing comes out, you know your egg is, is done. But you can go get your shower, you can do your chores, it doesn't matter. This is a morning breakfast, there's no fuss. So now what I'm going to do is scoop this egg mi mixture into the muffin. Okay, so this is where the fun part comes in. You could use a scoop, take so much at a time, and just take it and pour right in to each one. Equal amounts of everything. And if you don't get it, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's going to be equally as delicious. But if you look and see that one of them don't have uh, like a lot of tomato or some bacon, just add it in after. I got some in each one of the dishes there so as I can add in. So you can see basically what I'm doing is just pouring it into the center of the ham like this. So I'm going to continue doing that until they're all filled and I'll show you what else we'll do. Okay, so just equally top each one of them until all of your mixture is done. Now, my husband also got another recipe that I may convince him to show us down the way. He calls it a pizza sandwich. Um, and he's been making these for years, of course. I know there's all sorts of versions of these recipes out there. But I guess if our sons were here now, they'd say, oh my gosh, I remember the pizza sandwiches. I remember those uh, breakfast muffins. So oh, what I'm doing right. here now... Yeah. Yeah, what I'm doing here now is just topping up some more of the tomato and just a little bit more of that bacon. Of course, what do you think about lots of bacon in your your muffin, mm -hmm. your breakfast muffins? Oh, definitely. All about meat, meat, and, and more meat. And then you top it with more cheese, like this, and so on. Nice. Okay, so that's the last one. So pretty much that's all you need to do with making these breakfast muffins. Um, clean off around your muffin pan so that uh, you know you don't have any extra egg or anything that's up there that will burn. You probably smell that burning, but not your uh, your breakfast muffin. So put this in a preheated oven of 350 degrees of heat for 30 minutes or depending on your oven. It, it takes 30 minutes for mine, but I'm not certain about yours. Put the knife in through just lightly because you don't want to go through your silicone pan if you got it or, or whatever you're using. And if it comes out clear, you know it's done, but you can almost tell. All right then, meet me back here and I'm going to show you what they look like. Two more things before I put it into my oven. Put a pan in under your muffin uh, tin. Um, if you're using a, a tin muffin pan or a silicone one, just to help support it and if it do decide to pop and bubble. And put a little bit of seasoning over the top. I just got a little bit of Italian uh, spice here and that's just for garnish and a little bit of that extra flavor. And you can also use whatever you like it could even be garlic. So I'm going to show you what they look like when they're cooked. Okay, welcome back to Vanity's Kitchen and our muffins is cooked. But the love of uh, video in a little bit in advance, we had made some before we started our video and I got the other one just waiting to go in the oven. So I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to taste a bit of it, open it up for you to see. But this is it. This is as good as it gets. And what's so lovely about these, as you can see, they are firm and you can serve it with so much stuff you can see the bacon there you can see uh, the inside you can see the ham that's showing i'm going to put two on this plate i got some ash browns and some fried bacon as well now i'm going to cut it and show you what it looks like and i'm just topping it with a little bit of fresh tomato over the top so what i'm going to do now is cut into this one and show you what it looks like inside and i'm going to have a little taste 
And what's so lovely about these breakfast muffins, you can make it in advance and pop it into your microwave. Just look inside, all of that bacon, you can see the tomato, the egg, and I can't even, I guess, say enough about it, but I guess my husband is there behind the camera. He can inform you that this is one of his favorites. Well, like you say, it's as good as it gets. Now I'm gonna have a little taste. I like to have a little bit of salsa and, uh, and sour cream on the side of mine, but right now I don't. I'm just going to have it like this. Mm. I love these little breakfast muffins without anything. I just can eat one after another. But all the flavors and so much meat and cheese. Mm. Two thumbs up by Vanity's Kitchen. I guess I can't have a breakfast muffin without having a little sip of my tea. So this is as good as it gets. Like I was saying, um, my husband's recipe, he's been making it for years and I wanted to share this with you. I wanted for him to make it and share it with you, but he's quite comfortable behind the camera. So mm -hmm. follow along with this if you want to add anything extra, if you want to take anything out, if you don't like something that's in there, that's fine. But you can also, if you don't want to to have it like this, my husband is asking for one, so I'm going to pass oh. him over one. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we this, got it. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. Eh? Yeah. It couldn't wait. I knew that. So if you like this recipe and you want to see more of our recipes and traditional and non-traditional Newfoundland recipes, go to my website or my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, you can subscribe at the right hand corner link, said subscribe, and it'll prompt you to what you need to do. And the white homemade bread we're using today is also on Vanity's Kitchen, and the bacon is for breakfast anytime. It's rolled in flour, it's also on Vanity's Kitchen. So that's two that you can just upload whenever you want to see them. So you can also visit me on my Facebook page or retweet on Twitter and see this recipe and many more. You can also send me a message on www.bonitiskitchen.com. So, from my kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us once again and you have a wonderful day.